just finished warming up shoulders. We're getting right into legs. This is gonna be a burner, guys. This is the first set of the day, leg extensions. Full extension, not a lock at the top, but definitely a straight at the top. I want that leg, boom, down, boom, down, boom, down, let's go. 15 to 20. This is a super set with leg curls. Come on. Five, come on. Six, seven, eight, like that. If you don't know, if you're straight, just watch your leg. There we go. That little horseshoe right there will happen. It's a beautiful thing. Come on. Don't let it rest. There you go. Time under tension. What's your number? 17. 18. Last two, I want you to do 10 seconds up. 19. Last one, I want a 10 second up. Slow on the way up. That's way fast. Back down there. Okay, when I say 10 seconds, it's really, it took me like 40 times to get this right. Start slow and give me a 10 second up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop. Now, if you pick the wrong weight, uh, in other words, if it's too light and you're just busting through your reps, you don't necessarily have to get up and add weight. You can always just slow down the time under tension, slow down the breath, and that will act like a lot more weight. Hold this out here, a five pound weight for um, 20 seconds. Not so hard. Hold it out for, for three minutes. So like that, let's go, girls. I talk too long during the superset. Get right into it. Same thing, 10 to 20, 15 to 20. Is this too easy? Yeah. We're gonna drop this way, this is way too easy. Give me that weight, give me the weight. There we go. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Be safe, make sure your upper body's not moving. Hold full tension. You got a buddy to mess with you? Make him mess with you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's tough kid. Come on. Come on. Bad you want it. You gonna be a guy that lies himself in the mirror? Are you gonna come in here and not do it? Alright. What's your rep number? 18. 19, 19 and 20. 20. Okay. First super set of legs out the door. We do this four times, then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, right now her rate is a resting 152. Right into the front, right into the front squat. Let's go. Yeah. Legs in a little bit. I want them close. There you go. So come on down. Much easier if you kick your elbow up too. So the higher these are, go ahead. Now he's literally letting it rest on his chest. Give him my set. Come on. How many do we have? Oh my. 15 to 20. Those are perfect. He's a little bit far on his knees over. Try to sit down a little bit that way if you can. Yeah. Now, if you get tired, go with a wider stance. Go a little wider, wider stance. There you go. Come on. Knock these out. Come on. Don't go too far over your knees. There you go. You want to be able to lift up on your heels. Is that your 15? Yeah. Great job. Straight into leg throw. You're gonna notice that I have two sets of curls back to back on here. Two, two. It's on. It's on the workout twice. And the reason why, hammies are a pain in the butt to work. Not a lot of machines do it very easily. You can do a lot of good mornings and, and deadlifts and things, but if you don't do them right, you miss out on the hammy. So this guarantees us that we're gonna have the back of the leg trained by the end of the workout. Come on. Fifteen to twenty. Fifteen to twenty. Come on. 15 to 20. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about that stretch on the bottom. Just take it up and down. Up and down. One fluid movement. All the way down. There we go. Is that your 15? Yeah. What's your heart rate? Show the camera. 160. <laughs> 160. 
Beautiful. How you feeling? You got a pump in your legs? Right now we're getting into the stiff legged deads. We're gonna finish this guy's workout. He's starting off with dumbbells. We're gonna get into the barbell for the superset for the good morning. Show us how it's done, buddy. Yeah. Now I wanted him to do that on purpose. He rounded his back. No rounding the back. Go ahead. Yes. Now, notice that you lost your range of motion. If he does this, he can go all the way down. But if he keeps his legs straight, that's as far as I can go before it rips out the back of my knee. Go as far as you can and then come back up. Go ahead. Here it is. Up, up, back up. Yep. Use his versa grips to hold on. That way he doesn't worry about his, uh, his finger strength or even the pain in his fingers. You guys don't want to worry about it. Stick leg. Now spread your legs. Okay, go down. The reason why you don't see him going down lower is because his legs are actually straight. A stiff legged deadlift is, is a very straight locked out leg. Now bend it a tiny bit. Now we're down. Okay, keep on going. Knock him out. As long as this back stays straight and you start off with straight leg, like locked out leg, and you end up bending a little the way through to finish the reps, that's fine. But try to do as many with a stiff leg, straight leg as you can. Right into good morning. Let's go. Good job, buddy. Really proud of you. His legs are straight, his back is bowed. <coughs> nice. How many do we have to do? Ten to twelve. Go with wider leg now. Okay. Now eventually he'll be able to go lower than this, but please don't try. You don't have to. The idea is to work the muscles intended. And if this is the, the, the range of motion you have, just stay in that range. We're not trying to create range with 80 pounds on our back. We do that with stretching. Let's go. Tell me when you've done your 12. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Take this. Right here. You done? Yeah, you're ready. It's a hurry. 161. <laughs> 162. That's great. Congratulations, my friends. I like using this once again. Look at this sweat. I could be blowing smoke up his ass about his sweat all day long, but I don't care about sweat. It could be hot in here once again. If he wasn't sweating, let's say, and, um, and I'm like, dude, why aren't you sweating? Why aren't you sweating? And he doesn't have this heart rate monitor on. I wouldn't, I would think he's not trying, right? Well, what if it's winter time? What if it's cold? What if, what if they, they're really sporting for the bill at your, your, your gym and they're going all out on the air conditioning? And, and, and sweat um, isn't abundant in the gym, even with effort. Screw all your sense of accountability, my friends. We'll go with what this heart rate monitor says. It is the mediator, it takes me out of it. It takes your eyes out of it, it takes the pleading, oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain out of it. If you look down and it, it doesn't give you a number that is high enough for the muscle groups intended. And these things are on the dot com, go to the graph, you'll see, you're, you're not trying. You're not. Or the advanced course would be you're depleted. You just don't have the fuel in you to really keep going. And that's what happens also as well. You've been following the diet. Notice your calories went down a little bit? Yeah. Fat's harder to burn than, than, than sugar, right? So it is, it's, did, tell, tell them about that. It was a pain in the butt, right? Oh yeah, dieting down is, it's tough. And I'm a server, so I basically work at night. I have to deal with food all day long. I have to look at it, so. <laughs> and that's when I'm hungry at night, and I have to deal with food. Good job, man. All right, we're gonna get into calves and finish up this leg workout. Let's go. All right, until you've got the whole thing stacked up with 45s, this is a great way to manipulate strip setting. The idea is to do a certain amount of reps and then remove some weight and do some more, right? If you have a huge long rest, it's not really a strip set. It's a, it's a rest. So, kind of a trick. That way I get my knees underneath it and get going fast. What's your weight? What do you usually do? Um, for this one, I hold it up. So like try, to, try, try to get that off and then tell me how much more we do. A lot more? Yeah. Okay, rack it. Can we load it up? Right again. Nice. 
that heavy? Oh yeah. All right. Here we go. I think this is a uh, good. Yep. It should be hard. No, it's perfect. What? Um, that's a great question. And okay, he asked me a very good question. He said, "Is the height good enough on my knees?" I like the height to be where it's safe. You can go to failure, okay? Nobody goes to failure if they're in an unsafe environment. As long as he knows he can get this thing over, when he's taking the last of the pain he can take to build these damn calves that nobody has because they don't take the pain, he'll be safe, okay? And it will allow his brain to go to the, that's why I don't do my hit training on a, on a treadmill. Because if I slip or fall, I'm gonna land on my face. So I'd rather run up a hill. If I do fall, it's four feet and it's not speed. Similar with this, you gotta give yourself a safe environment for your brain to go all out, or you will not end up with cats. So this is a position for him to get all out in. Great question, let's go. 20 to 30. His hands do not go here, unless they have to. Like Come on. Direct number. Pause. Get it over. No, get this thing over. Problem? He went a little too far into his rep. That's real. We didn't fake that. He could not get it over. So when you're doing a strip set, please know when your last rep is in order to switch the weight. Go ahead. That's great. We want you to go to failure. Never set yourself up for I'm not going to try hard enough. But that was an unsafe position we got in. He knew I was here, so he let himself get there. But you guys are going to be alone. Just make sure every once in a while you double check you can get at that bar and get it over. Is that enough? Yep. Yeah. Give me five more for fun. See this bar right here? See this handle? That's how you get it over. Now, from this position, I want him to do something else. See? I want him to hold this bar over. You have to hold the bar because if it bounces off and lands on your calves, it'll hurt. So hold that bar, and I'll just take it off of this up and down. Leave that there, go up and down. This is a quarter rep. A lot of people aren't into quarter reps. I am. Take, take, you know, take your opinion for what it is. But this allows him to go to failure in a safe, safe environment for his calves to take a pain he never could have. Because it is, it's a sense of anxiety, you can get it back on the rack. So what did you think about that? Okay. Now, this is not a super set, this is a strip set, so I would like you to start with a weight that you cannot do 20 to 30 of. But once again, acknowledging the tricks of the trade here, you gotta be able to rack it, or you're gonna be in tough trouble. Turn. 147 seated. 147 seated on calves. Right there, baby. Build them up, build them up. Okay, this is one of my favorite calf exercises on any of my plants. This is sets of 20 with a 20 second rest. Do as much weight as you can. This is not a strip set. I need you to pick a weight and suffer through your 20. You're gonna notice that we don't, we don't have the standing cab race machine here. That's what it calls for. We created our own here with the Smith machine. I put a couple dumbbells down, or excuse me, a couple plates down for us to stand on to get a little bit of range of motion. Now, acknowledging that usually I can put more than one plate down on top of each other to get a higher range of motion, more of a step, we put those down and they were sliding. That's unsafe. Do not put three or 400 pounds on your back if it's not safe. So we're gonna go with a little bit less of a drop and make sure we isolate at the top and get that extra good squeeze because we're not gonna get it at the bottom. Doesn't matter, he's gonna still end up with calves. I mean, right? Yep. What's your heart rate right now? 135. 135, we're gonna take you through two sets of this so that you kind of get that 20 second rest and what happens to his heart rate. Now. Weight is everything for calves. Ladies, gentlemen, anybody. Your calves do a lot of work. They do a lot of work. How much do you weigh? Uh, 185. 185. Now imagine him 185 doing this. That's the pressure going down and the pressure going up. Probably with, with that kind of impact and that kind of uh, torque, that probably jumps it up to 230, 240. Just with the, you know, the resistance and the motion up, firing off, stopping it, and going back up. So acknowledging if he doesn't do at least 240 on here, there, I mean, he's not training his calves, okay? You, you do that running them out. So we really want muscle, we really want calves. For those of you who say genetics is an issue and you don't have calves because of it, because of it, have you thrown the weight on? You got huge quads, you got huge chest, huge arms. Where the hell are your calves? It's because you're not putting the weight on and or, and this is a trick, I like to talk about this one, 
calves hurt. Oh yeah. Calves hurt like abs and biceps. They is excruciating. So it's, it might be your pain threshold. It might just be that you're not taking enough pain in the calves. So we're gonna put Mr. Michael here through through the, the, the pain threshold to see how much you can take. Oh. Heart rate is? 134. 134. 20 rest, 20 seconds, 20 rest, 20 seconds. Oh. Good. Three. Four. Take, take it out. Five. Six. Let's get him up. Seven. Too much weight. Drop it. Drop it. Okay, it's a little too much weight. Work it off. If that happens to you and your first set turns into a strip set, well, I'd rather have that than you not put on enough weight. So, so especially in this where it's a structured environment, it's already locked up for him. Let's go, buddy. Oh. Who wants gas? You're a great big tall son of a bitch. You need gas. Come on. Come on. Right there. Right there. Think about it. Come on. Think about it. Make him hurt. Come on. Come on. Your number. Four. Thirty. Keep going. Forty. Fifty. Come on. Sixty. A good training partner will help you. Eighty. Don't you be jumping. Use your gas. Nineteen. One more. Twenty. Bracket. Now we went a little heavy for Mr. Michael, and you noticed that it was a lot of this. Okay. It's like your elbow moving. If you're doing this, your calves aren't doing the work. So we loaded him up. That was a little bit too much weight. Once again, I'd rather him do a little too much weight. But when we got into the bounce, it made me nervous. We don't want to get hurt. Which are we? 162. 162, we gained 30 beats. So even though our, our muscles are firing and we're burning calories, that's where the educated part comes in. We want to burn calories and muscles fire right there. So the only thing I would change about his, his exercise there was just making sure the legs are locked out or the knee isn't isn't bending and the calf is doing all the work. That's your 20 seconds, let's go. We've dropped the weight. We're gonna try to rip out 20 in a row. There we go. Four, don't bend those legs. Five, there you go. Six, take the pain. Seven, take it. Eight. Don't bend those legs. Nine. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Bend your legs. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seven. Come up. Eighteen. Nineteen. Come up. Twenty. Go. Oh, it hurt. One sixty-three. One sixty-three, guys, on calves. Check your heart rate next time you train calves. Is it 163? 163 is how you judge effort, how you judge your resistance to know if it's high enough. <laughs> he finished 163, and the last time he had, what, another 200 pounds on there? So anything above, I think on my graph, I have anything above 140 or 150 uh, is a great calf exercise, especially if it's, if it's uh, seated. If it's standing, we want to be closer to the 140, 150 mark. That shows effort. That shows um, accountability that you did apply enough resistance to the body for it to remember it and try to um, try to get stronger for the next attempt at that resistance. Okay, it's educated steps here, guys. Anything for the, anything, that's your leg workout, buddy. Anything? It's really good. Saying? Calves are burning, legs are burning. Same workout. <laughs> really same workout. Okay, you've done this workout before. Oh, did yeah. we do anything different during this workout that you've done before? Um, I had a partner, which really helped me out. Uh, you were helping me drop today, you were helping me uh, push harder. But not everybody has a partner. So yeah. besides besides having an educated partner, what else? Uh, form, we a lot more about form. Okay, what were the differences in form? Um, well, for calves, for one, I wasn't going high enough. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it. Well, I mean, you look great, so there shouldn't be a lot wrong. Yeah. I mean, he, I, it's a kind of a trick question here. He could have been doing everything right, we just wanted to film it so I could show you guys. Yeah. Or if we learned something today, that's the whole sharing with the group thing. And what he's saying basically is he got a, his high step wasn't high enough on the calves. 
and um, he realized that it is kind of nice, especially some of the super set strip setting stuff, to have a partner to help help, oh, yeah, to yeah. help move the weight and, and keep you safe, right? He knew I had his back, so he could go to failure. And once again, that's creating the environment where your body will let you go to that to that place of trauma, uh, knowing that it is a safe environment. You're not going to get hurt. You're just going to be traumatized a little. Oh, good stuff, buddy.